Um, so we're here with Fawaz Zabi of Accelerator Technology Holdings. And uh, Fawaz, I'm just curious, which, which companies today inspired you the most? Uh, in particular, I would say the one that inspired the most was a Brazilian company that uh, specialized in information security. And what I really found most intriguing there is the, uh, the entrepreneurs who are quite young but have been able to really create a business that uh, has grown tremendously in a very short time. And when you see the dynamics between what Endeavor, which is part of the, the conference we're part of, uh, it, it seeks uh, to, to find a role for itself in trying to help those entrepreneurs and how they are actually reacting to that kind of help and support and where the uh, the difference becomes really very significant is how most of us see this business going to become uh, or having the ability and potential to grow in a huge way and have a very high impact while on the other hand the entrepreneurs themselves you see that there, there is some fright inside them and, and doubt that they would really be able to take it and scale it to that level and so they're at that you know at the cusp of looking at are we going to be able to do that or is it somebody that we're going to have to bring and therefore lose the baby we have and you know so the, me the mechanics of it all and dynamics of it is, is extremely interesting and what does it mean um, for jordan to have entrepreneurs here from brazil from chile from mexico oh it's very exciting i mean uh, the best part of it i think for for our own entrepreneurs is to see that there are entrepreneurs all around the world that are very much practically the same in their ambitions, in their passions, in the loves of, in, in what they love to do. And the best part of it is that uh, today, when you compare uh, some of the uh, the um, opportunities we're looking at uh, in the conference here, uh, you you would be surprised how similar uh, these people are, irrespective of where they come from. But it is something to be really proud of uh, for us here in Jordan to be able really to bring people from across, uh, around the world to come and participate in this ISP uh, and be part of it and, and showcase what they are doing. Uh, and it only highlights also the differences between the cultures as well as the, the nature of the markets, the different markets we all operate in and the challenges we, we face in different markets. So it's, uh, the education here is, is just uh, quite uh, yeah, amazing. Great. And uh, what are the biggest mistakes you see, just briefly, or the challenges that you've advised entrepreneurs to overcome? Well, I think, you know, one of the major things that we really need to learn is not to be afraid of failure. I think our culture remains uh, very protective over that concept still. And one of the main ideas I would like uh, if, if there is anything we could succeed at at this stage because you know entrepreneurship is now taking a new life in our part of the world and, and in Jordan in particular I would say we need to really take life on with all the risks it brings and, and therefore not feel that we are this uh, it's a shameful thing to fail there is uh, lessons learned in failure as, as much as there are in success and, and so we should celebrate both yeah, I agree. Well, thank you for talking to WAMDA. Thank you, and all the best of luck. Thank you.